That storm could also make driving through the grapevine very hazardous. KCAL's Lauren Posen continues our storm watch coverage live from Castaic, and it's getting very cold there, Lauren. So, how are you and your photographer holding up? <laughs> Oh, Pat, you know, after hearing Nicole's story, we have nothing to complain about out here. I think it's only 40 degrees here, so she's 20 degrees cooler, colder, and that's a big difference. So here tonight in Castaic, the story is dry and cool, cold conditions, and the sky is clear. It's really beautiful. You can actually see some of the stars, but the big story really is this I-5 here because this is the major artery that a lot of people travel. As you can see right now, trucks going by with no problem, cars going by with no problem. But all that could change if the weather does. It's a cold Wednesday night as a powerful winter storm makes its way into Castaic. <laughs> Truckers are resting up before heading out again, and residents are getting prepared. We just bought my doggy a winter coat. I guess it's going to be rain the next three days in a row, and it's very cold. The storm is expected to be so intense it has the potential to shut down the Grapevine, Cajon Pass, and the 14 Freeway. Caltrans is staffing crews 24 hours a day with two 12-hour shifts. They are ready, pre-treated roads with brine to prevent ice from sticking to the road surface. This is nice, okay? This is nice. So you really can't beat it compared to where I'm at. Truck driver Kenny Beck is from Minnesota and has a different take on the storm. He showed us this picture his friend sent him of the snowy conditions he's driving his big rig in the Midwest. This, everybody's getting ready for it. It's not going to stick much up there because of the, how warm it's been. But being Southern California, it's what it is. The closest we got to seeing some snow this way is up in Gorman, where flurries fill the sky and ground. As the storm makes its way through, tow truck drivers say they're keeping busy, helping drivers up and down the grapevine. It's high speeds, honestly, to be the truth. Uh, a lot of black ice, especially when you get to the top of the hill up here on the Tahone Pass. And uh, to be honest, just people just need to get a little more space, a little more space. And when they slam on the brakes, they're sliding off the highways, and we're getting like a lot of like recovery calls for that as well. Another truck driver has this piece of advice for drivers as we settle in to this winter storm. Stay away from the big rig. My mom always told me before I even start driving these trucks, uh, stay away from the trucks, you know, because they can't feel you. It's like a little bump in the road. Some good advice there. Now, I've been checking with Caltrans and CHP throughout the night. So far, so good. They tell me no plans as of right now to shut down I-5 or the Grapevine. But, of course, it all could change if the weather does. And that's something they're monitoring very closely as we get into overnight. Reporting live in Castaic, Lauren Posen, KCAL News.